Okay, new game. I have played this for all of five seconds before Isaac told me to stop playing it, and I was only allowed to play it on stream at some point. <laughs> oh, for the love of... She's still asleep. Does she really not understand how important today is? Hi, Grubzy! I have never played this before. Marble can't eat another bite. But I can always find room for yummy candy, Mimble Wimble. <sighs> Something in Japanese! We do not have time for Ohio Resetting. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Today is the day we set for opening the store. Oh, uh, we did? Oh yeah, we did. I like how they just randomly, they're all like, we're gonna open a store. Merde, of all the, did you just speak French while saying something in Japanese? Listen, go wash your face and make yourself presentable. Your weeb level is not high enough for this dilly. It's not. <laughs> And then join me downstairs in the storefront. Ah, uh, <laughs> what she said! <laughs> hey, sorry I kept you waiting. Okay, Tia, let's open the shop right now. Capitalism ho! Patience, Rossetti. It is a virtue you will need. You need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. <laughs> huh? Like what? Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. We can sell an orange. That's what you do in these games, right? Uh. Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell. How did, how did you manage to afford the store? So what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we cannot claim to be much of a shop. That's true. Hmm. So where should we go to to get stocked up? Donisne, or whatever she said. The Merchant's Guild. We need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless. So that should... We just gotta give our regards to the head of the guild regardless. So, someone needs to fire the writer. So that should probably be our first stop. Oh, that's the place run by that old guy, right? The guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants. So if we... Stop by, we can purchase an initial stock. It would not hurt to grov... Er give our polite regards to the guild chief either, especially since the guild is the organization that allows us to operate here in the first place. What she said! <laughs> then you want to leave the shop, head to the front door, currently located in the upper right hand of the corner of the store. Ah, uh, but I wanted to leave through the window like an action hero. To eternity and don't say it, you'll get sued. Resetting! I'm gonna go this way. I like how my stool is not circular. I'm adorable. But uh, you're tiny. Why am I even working with a fairy? All relationships must have one weeb and one normie. It's true. Merchant's Guild. Oh, hello. Uh, can I pet your face, sir? Konnichiwa! Mm, a girl and a fairy. You two are. Yes, you're a Setian. That loan shark! Well, that is not, well, an incorrect assessment. Could I ask that you refrain from calling me a loan shark? What she said. She and I are partners. Don't be mean. Ah, forgive me, forgive me. Partners it is. So, how are the preparations for running that shop coming along? If she's a loan shark, why are we opening a store? Why aren't we just, like, shaking down all the people that owe us money? Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan an opening today, so we stop by in order to show our gratitude for your help. Ah, oh, very good. You two know what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'd be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you. Are those bullets on your apron? Or pens? Or something? Like... Uh, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you very much. Not a problem at all. So, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well up to the counter, then. Let's get you two sorted. Sorted! What she said. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than 10 items. <laughs> Sushi! Before you stock up, make sure time to stock. Okay. Talk. Oh. A fusion. 
Once a few merchant levels are under your belt, you'll be able to fuse items here at the guild hall. It's quite a few items you can only get by using fusion, so I'd get real familiar with that furnace if I were you. Remember, what you put in affects what you get out of the fusion. If you put in some materials of, say, plus two quality, then you'll get an item of similar quality as a result. Keep an eye on what you're fusing, too. You don't want to waste good materials on some mediocre thing you could just buy somewhere. Uh, Rossetti probably has a debt. <laughs> Another thing to keep in mind, it can be real tempting to keep your best quality items to yourself for personal use, but your customers know quality items when they see them, and you'll earn a lot of respect if you sell top shelf merchandise. There's a couple of stages to what you can pull off with Fusion. <sighs> so experiment. Okay, shut up. This is just way too long. I don't. Just buy. Just don't buy more of the. Okay. It's a crafter's knife. 980 pi- oh. We only have 1,000. I cater to wizards. Oh, you don't have much. Just, just here, it's a leather glove. It's clothes, a windbreaker, leather, wood, wood, iron armband. Yes. Can't afford anything. Um. Sure. How how is a worn sword cheaper than a rusty dagger or more? I want to cater to wizards. I want to cater to wizards. No. Sure. Can't buy any of this. I spent all my money on the- okay. I'm the best person ever! This game is actually Samantha's childhood where she learns that she's a better interior decorator and shopkeeper than this and finds Angela who visits due to a dimensional rift. Wow. It's pretty deep. What's the most effective way to get money? Shaking people down? Right, right then. Will that be all? <laughs> yep, this is perfect. We're broke. She'll turn when our stocks run low again, which will be hopefully tomorrow. I need some water. Hold on. I got some water. I got some water. Ah, ah. Here's a little something extra as a startup gift. Yeah, Yay, walnut bread! Thanks a bunch! Alright, little lady, give them your all. Capitalism ho! Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Who? Rest means the item is probably more damaged than if just worn. Oh, it's true. Except it's rusted. <laughs> yep. Okay. An item shop. Okay, what do I do first? Uh, if we do not have our goods out for people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them after all. So I just need to get near these counters. Just so, once you know where you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. Primary button? You will understand when you try it, trust me. Now remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store, so think carefully before you place something. Oh. Now then, to start off, why not line up what we purchase on one of the counters? Hi! Hi! Yeah, yeah. No. We're catering to wizards. May I speak with you a moment? Don't you dare tell me what I'm... Sure, what is it? Those counters by the window, items you place there are visible to anyone passing by on the street. As such, putting eye-catching items, the sort of thing that makes you think, I want to buy this more than anything on those counters, is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the shop. And what is placed there greatly affects interest in our business, so choose what to place there very, very carefully. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Okay, I'll be careful! Okay, let's see. So we're gonna put the expensive thing here. There you go. Here, you want some walnut bread? We're, we're, we have total focus in this store. Buy some clothes. All right, that should do for displaying our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? Yeah, what she said. Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Please go sit at the counter. 
Righto. You just take people's money, right? She's like whispering in your ear. Well then, the items are in place and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. A Kyle! So to start with, I will lecture on the actual process of selling an item we have displayed. Yes, Professor. If the students do not listen, they do not get any credit. What? Er, r right. Now then, when a customer enters, be sure to greet them with a nice big welcome. Uh, uh, Ohio! Greeting the customer helps them to feel comfortable and relaxed. While in the store, their comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that as we continue. Now! A typical customer will find an item they want on our displays, and then they will come over to the counter to pay for it. That's normal. Let me demonstrate. Could I get this, please? Uh, uh, uh. What they want will be in the target window. Well, duh. You will also be able to see the name and the base price. Duh. Pay close attention to that base price. Also, if you press button three. What's button three? You can view expanded information of the item in question. Consult the custom.exe program included with Reseteer if you wish to check or alter your button. What? Wait, button three, custom.exe. Focus, Rosetta, your life is hard enough to control as it is. Okay. I feel like this fairy is like slapping her constantly. Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Try naming a price if you will. Uh, let's see. You likely notice that the base price serves as your default. To raise your offer, press a, uh, that's what I tried doing. Give me this much. Yes, very good. That is how you adjust your offer. This might be obvious. If a customer is satisfied with your offer, it is a sale and you get a little bit of experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, a customer can simply walk out. Learning to determine the proper price, there lies the challenge. Now, if a customer disagrees with the price, but not so much that they want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is the key here. Offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous that the customer reveals you are not acting in good faith. So if they disagree but stay, offer a new price. Ideally, you will lower your offer a little, and they will take it and give you a sale. Some customers may just be trying to stiff out a better price when they are real- Oh my god, my brain is melting. What is this DDLC? When they were really willing to what are you taught what no to pay your initial price however whether or not you risk testing that possibility is up to you how long can you keep haggling well that depends on how regular a customer the person in question is as we are starting out you will not be able to haggle for very long but after customers begin to trust us a little you can haggle for a longer period of time well time to put theory into practice okay oh welcome can i get this please oh i pick a price right it needs to be higher than the base price up button up give me nine thousand Go. Oh dear, if you try to charge as much, the customer is likely to throw the item in your face and storm out. No, you take it! <laughs> Bitch! 3,000. Are you serious? Dumb bitch. Here. You will likely end up haggling a little. Alright then, now for the fine art of haggling. The uh, lower your price slowly. Uh, I say deduce the desired price, but how do I? A large number of stores sell at about 30% over base, but I don't want to do math. Ow! It's not a hard and fast rule, but people will usually accept that price level. Usually. If you can manage to go over that, that will make a lot of money. But you do not want to risk driving away a customer right then, so as a customer, I am haggling. Could you make it a little bit cheaper? Okay, you gotta make it cheaper, but not too cheap. <laughs> this is technically cheaper, but still high. <laughs> the percentage is shown under the price you offer. Don't talk to me about simplicities. It's technically cheaper temperament of the customer as to whether or not you make a sale. Well, that covers just about everything. Now let us put the entire lecture into practice all at once. If you can sell me an item, you'll be ready for what lies ahead. Let us begin. I would like this, please. Oh, are you gonna give me this much? Could you go a little lower, perhaps? Just, just this. Could you go a little lower, piece of shit?
Overlong Halloween will try try again. You bitch! Keep the principles of salesmanship in mind. I would like this, please. This is a custom-made sword that is especially made for people that are not of your standing. 8,000. Too high, that will anger the customers. Well, obviously, you're not an important enough individual to be able to afford it because you had to ask for the price. Come, let us try again. We'll try again keep the principles of salesmanship in mind. Hello, welcome to Rested Here. I would like this, please. 4,000. Fine. We'll do this right here. An excellent price. Thank you so much. Yeah, I saw the steel sword. Excellent. Let us do that one more time just to be sure. No! Here. Go a little lower. Here. Give me this. Yeah. Okay. It'll be fine. And that is essentially how it goes. You were quite good for someone who has never done this before. We still have a little bit of time left today, so let us go ahead and open the store proper. If anyone comes in, simply handle them in the same way that we just practiced, by backhanding them and forcing their wallet out of their hands. Whoa, are you sure it'll be okay? Do not worry, as the saying goes, I'm a lone shark. Backhand them and force their wallet out of their hands. That is a science. You learn as you go. Now then, I will open us up. Go on and sit at the counter. The currency is picks. Are they dick picks? Yes. And boob picks. Oh my god! Hi there, what can I get you? You don't look like you have much money. I'd like this, please. I need to give me a lot for this. <laughs> no, I can't back down! Less, please! This, this is a very, very important piece of bread that you'll never be able to bake because you're a little homely. Don't underestimate a housewife! <laughs> I already did. Here. That seems about right. Thanks so much. Yes, yeah, a walnut bread. <laughs> Congratulations, you did well. I sold, I sold stuff. By stuff, I mean one loaf of bread. I, me, recipe. I sold stuff like to people. Hey, Tier, I, I'm so happy. I, I did it, Tier. I did it, Papa. I did it. No, your dad's dead. Stop it. That's how we started running an item shop. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, why did you start an item shop at all? Oh. Right. I can understand her. She's dead. She's really dead! Easy game station. Oh, why is the freaking mouse in the way? A tale of a fairy, a girl. It's just a single coin of money. And how to run an item shop. It's cute! The mouse is your favorite character so far. Here, right here. It's the mouse, guys! Hey, it's right there. Oh, 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 everyone else left. <laughs> this is the Doki Doki of shopkeeping games. Stop it, Axel. See, yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left to the store to get cigarettes. He hasn't returned. <laughs> I don't get why he suddenly said, I'm gonna be a hero. And then took off without saying what he did back. <laughs> I really hope he's okay. I'm getting lonely. <laughs> Her 
father's like the only parent in her life and he picks up like probably a kitchen knife and says i'm gonna be a hero and marches out the front door and is never seen again <laughs> well i shouldn't worry too much about him the best thing about him is how tough he is he'll be okay do we find his skeleton later that'd be amazing Blah? papa would knock who is that There's nobody here. Wait, what? At my feet? Yeah, what she said. Um, you are Mademoiselle Rossetti Res Lemongrass? Lemongrass. Uh, Miss Fairy? Pardon me, but I am the one asking questions. Again, you are Rossetti Lemongrass? Uh, um, yes, I am Rossetti. My name is Tira. I'm an agent of the Terme Finance Company. Finance company? I'm here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here's the contract and my identification. Uh. Loan? Repayment? I. Uh. And plan insurance. I'm here to get our money back. If you are incapable of facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. Facilitating? Co. Co. Collateral. Face? <laughs> he is not here? Yes, I see that now. Really? Monsieur Lemongrass disappeared following a fracas atop the local volcano, so we assumed he might have returned here. <laughs> That's the photo. <laughs> they, just, they have a photograph. Even if he is not, however, the contract covers this eventuality. Covers this? Quite. As the sole remaining member of his household, we shall require that you pay his debts in his stead. But that, how am I supposed to? I barely have enough money to live by, by myself. It's because your dad left you. And she just up and left. Naturally, we are not demanding it all be repaid at once. There's still a small amount of the time before any payment is due. Therefore... Am I gonna get sold off in parts of distant foreign lands to repay Papa's debts? Is this game gonna let me play? I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, that can replace my blood hand. <laughs> right. I have a clue where I have no clue where you're getting these ludicrous ideas from, but I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such, well, absurd methods to pay us back. But, what? I have been sent to support you to the fullest of my ability so that you may repay the debt via labor. Oh my. But, but I've never worked a single day in my life. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whether or not you are willing to work. If you do not wish to work, then that is it. The house is termes, and I will have to ask you to leave the premises. As the saying goes, those who do not work do not eat. So, Miss Lemongrass, which will it be? Work or the house? Child labor laws don't exist here. <laughs> oh my god. I'll work then. Splendid. I don't even know what I could do. Actually, I already have an idea on that front. You're aware, of course, that this city is an adventuring hub. In addition, this house faces out into one of the many city lanes. Therefore, I propose converting the house into an item store item store why does she always seem like she's just absolutely stupid Rissetti. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. mademoiselle lemongrass I was only gone for a little while to do market research. Where could she have gone? Ha! I am being silly. Of course she fled. Why would she not? All I did was threaten to take away everything she ever knew and loved. Asking her to turn the house into an item shop was foolish, even if I was to repay the debt. The poor girl must be terribly confused. And on top of that, her father is probably dead. Wait, outside? Oh, look how cute she is! <laughs> Steady, do you have any form of education? No. Yayness! It's done! Yeah. Hey, Tear, look, it's done! What is that? 
It's our shop sign, of course. Doesn't it look cool? You can't be a shop without one of these, you know. Yes, well, it's quite well made, however. <laughs> be that as it may, while the sign is nice, I... <laughs> huh? Is there a problem? Well, the name. You're quite sure you have thought that through? Well, we're partners, right? You said so. So put Rossetti and Tear together and Reseteer. Isn't it neat? Well, that is to say the sentiment is commendable, but she already has a job. It's the two of us opening the store. You don't need your other job anymore. So the name should reflect that, right? Mom? You don't like it, Mom? Really, it's not that, but well, that is. <laughs> then it's decided. Reseteer ho! And my new mommy, Reseteer. Here, mispronounce it even slightly and wreck, wreck it, tear, racket. Oh, this job is going to be even more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I fear. <laughs> if Sadie is a pure child, be nice to my bum, my bum daughter. Uh, I wish I spoke your language. <laughs> 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 Mirror day. How is it possible to sleep this much each day? How? Racket tearing. Yes, I got that. Mmm. Tear. Mmm. Let's do the very best we can. Oh, how's on first? What's on second? Oh, tear, right. Good morning. Second does not have a good morning hand. Reseteer, you are the proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. <laughs> right. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? That smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger. Oh, no reason. Mom. I just think I saw something nice in my dreams. Mom. Tia, let's give it our all. She's totally not replacing Tia for her dead and missing mother. Well, if you really are dedicated to making this work, wash yourself and meet me downstairs. Hi. Hi. Can this, can this, can this move forward? So I have an item shop and stuff. It's all cool and awesome. So uh, what do I do now? That is up to your judgment. If you sit at the counter, we can open immediately. Or we can reorganize the shop. Or we can even go search for new stock around town or elsewhere. Yikes, that's a ton of options. How do I choose? It is, as I said earlier, running a place like this is more of an art than it is something you can simply follow a map through. Simply pick something. We will deal with what comes. Well, okay. I still have stuff to sell. Ah. Cancel. Go found town. Look at all these places I can go. Oh, my deep God, the Adventurer's Guild. Say, what's this place? This is the Adventurer's Guild. The Guild manages expeditions to the various untamed wilderness areas of abandoned ruins near the city. The area is commonly referred to as Dungeons. Without approval, adventurers cannot visit the dungeons. Oh, uh, nuts. So we can't just go into a dungeon and pick up everything we see? If we could do that, we could sell everything we get at 100% profit. It is still a very good idea. A great many people have made fortunes that way if you wish to do so. However, we must first hire an adventurer. Hire? Can I just pick anybody? The truth of the matter is a bit more complicated. Even if you pay them, few adventurers are willing to risk their lives simply for the benefit of a complete stranger. Ooh, so they turn away people they don't know very well? Indeed, you should first get to know a few adventurers and build up a certain level of trust with them. If all goes well, they will give you the symbol of their guild membership. This usually takes the form of a card. That in a hand, we could bring an adventurer with us. Oh, so it's like they're inviting us to a dinner party. Well, dinner parties usually do not include blood-mad beasts attempting to rip you limb from limb. But the analogy does work. Somewhat. Right. So first I need to meet an adventurer. Hmm. Spread your legs and open wide. Oh, which for us should not be that difficult, yes? You're both girls after all. After all, we run an item shop, so we should get a few coming in as clients on a fairly regular basis. Evening, Dawn. Oh, yeah. Well, then, I'll do my best to get a dinner invitation. Dinner, in quotations. Invitation. <laughs> Come inside. Indeed, just be careful that Rossetti is not on the menu. That's the point. Huh? Is something wrong? Well, that guy over there... 
it's just oh it's... what oh really if i can't get the money i can't get the items and if i can't get the items apparently it can't work ah heavens if i had a few things i could at least visit the hall of trials <laughs> I wonder what's going on. He seems to be a rookie adventurer complaining about his inability to complete the required guild test. Test? Well, the guild hardly allows anyone in off the street. He could only work officially for the guild after passing a test. An item shop owner is hardly the only job with challenges. Huh, I have an idea. Blah! I do believe we have found our first adventurer. Wait, what do you mean by a uh, tear weight? I burned what cash I had just getting to the city. Uh, I don't even know if I said that right. If I can't get into the guild, I don't know what I'll even do for dinner money. Now I'm hungry. Great. You there, adventurer with a seedy look. Who you call it seedy? You two would be... Here is literally Samantha. We're a pair of merchants who happen to be passing. She's not Samantha. She doesn't believe in Samantha. I'm beauty. Merchants. Oh, you heard me talking. Sorry, but I'm way too broke and seedy to buy anything. Believe me, I can tell by your seedy nature that attempting to sell you anything would be a colossal waste of time. Come on, Tears. Stop with the seedy already. He isn't a plant. So, are you two going to prune me or what? Here. Would you like it if we came with you to the Hall of Trials? If you require equipment or items, we can provide them. I'd call you a pair of angels then, but why? Business, naturally. We help you pass the trial. You provide us with your card. Oh, I get it. We help Mr. Swordsman clear the dungeon, and then he drives, gives us his card, a sign of our eternal friendship. Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case, but it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? I see. You guys are pretty new at all of this, too, huh? Our offer, Mr. Swordsman. Yes or no? Yes. Oh my god, he spoke Japanese English! I got nothing to lose. Well, aside from my precious life, anyway. Yayifications! Glad to meet you two. Uh, I'm Rossetti! Nice to meet you! I am Tyr. Oh, oh, okay. You just started. Good to meet you. Hi, Louie. Now then, we'll begin all of the preparations for a dungeon visit, including a visit to the central market to pick up food and other restorative items. We will then return here for when we are ready. Right, I'll be waiting here. Oh my god, am I gonna have to go through a tutorial of the fucking market? <sighs> a tree seed necklace. A charm made of a dried seed from a distant land. It costs too much. Okay, it's just it's costs too much. Old muffler. A wash with carrots that's not good, clean, and surprisingly protective. Uh, what is this? Oh. Unthankful statue. Don't expect much thanks on the market for this. Um, I need restorative stuff. What's candy do? Oh, uh, these are all expensive. There. I got him some restorative stuff. Here we go. Let's go! When finished, select the depart option. Okay. Just, we'll do that. Depart! Oh. So this is the dungeon? Just so. Welcome to the jungle, as they say. You know, aren't we just going to hold Louie back here? I mean, I'm not a monster slayer. I'm scared. The two of us are perfectly safe. There's a protective field around the two of us. To the monsters, we may as well be invisible. Why don't we just come in here on our own like that? <sighs> really? That's amazing. So Louis is perfectly safe too, then. Er, not quite. Uh-huh. While in the field, we do not need to worry about monsters, but this is accomplished by making us virtually intangible to everything inside this place. We can we can directly manipulate nothing. Oh, okay. Wait, we can't collect things? Why are we here, then? That is why our adventurer remains outside the field. Oh, I see. He'll pick stuff up for us. Should our adventurer be injured, we can place him in the field and retreat. Since we must carry him back, however, we can take very little else with us. One item at most. 
So don't get knocked out, otherwise I can only carry one item. So even if you run into trouble, we don't lose everything? But wait, I thought you said we can't... Yes, I will elaborate further if need be later. Naturally, if we get out of safety, we can bring as much as our bags will allow us to carry. Cool, wait, as much as our bags will allow? Well, our bags are not bottomless. If we run out of space, it will be up to us to decide what to keep or discard. So the adventure focuses on adventure while we keep track of what loot we should be keep. I guess that makes sense. KO day! Let's get to it! She's kind of adorable. When do you usually play designs by plastic? Excuse you! And it's living by Samantha now. And it's on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Quip items and bag. Oh, that's my that's my attack. Okay. Okay. It's a slime. No, get back. Just I don't know what that was. What? Oh, that's a critical hit. Oh my god! I got egg toast off of a slime! That'll sell well! Sure people want to eat egg toast that I got off of a slime in a dungeon. It's been down here for how long? It smells funny. <coughs> he leveled up. This is... this is... this is... K KO day. No! What's in here? Ow! Ow! Is that just a trap? Ow! I have 19 out of 24 hit points. Why kill the slimes? They don't... What? No. Because they need to die? They're also dropping stuff? I don't know. Oh. That was my special move that I used up. It's okay. I didn't know there was a special move. Just... Is there a way for me to get that back? Apparently not. It's okay. I got an ingredient. Ooh. Oh my god. Clothes! Why buy from the Merchant's Guild when we have it on right in here? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um. No. Not yet. I'm not ready yet. I don't know how to use my abilities! How do I use my walnut bread? Oh. Well, what do you know? That's... I'm gonna have to change the button layout for this. Oh! I got my stuff back. Oh, no, you don't! You don't do that! Saw what he was trying to do! Alright, come on. Come on. Yeah! Just... just... I got egg toast from these guys! Give me more egg toast! I just don't have enough stuff on me yet. I should become a cafe. I should make Reseteer from an item shop into a cafe. Only food items and magical stuff. Because I like wizards. It'll be a wizard cafe. Ow! Oh my god. More clothes! Uh oh. A raincoat! Yes. Dude, stop it. He's leveling up. We're helping him level up. What's this? Slime fluid. What I need to see is... How much... How, how many items can I hold? I can hold 20. I have 8. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. Ow! Was it fair? Egg toast. Ow. Just 
Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> this dungeon's a little bland. Are all the dungeons always looking like this so they get better? Uh, stop it. Stop it. Just, just... Like, are we able to, like... I've been here. Oh! Got another ingredient we don't know about. What are all these question mark items? Stop it. I want to know what the question mark items are. We got more slime fluid. It's like, what are you supposed to do with the slime fluid anyways? Ooh, next floor. Things are still gonna start getting rough. Question is, how do you leave? Do I have to do the whole Hall of Trials? Is that the whole point? Rachetti walks like an airplane. Does she? She does. <laughs> She's like, I'm too cute. Excuse you. Ow! Oh God! <laughs> no. How, like seriously, how do I leave? I'm gonna do that just in case because I did not save yet, and I do not want to go through all that dialogue again. Yes. Ooh! Cloth cape. What are all these ingredients? Just give, me, just give me. How do we get out of here? Anyone has played this, how do you get out? Like, do I just get on one of these and it's like, hey. I just have to keep on going until I'm like, find a way out? Oh, no. No, come here. Come here. Stop it. You never get out. No! I have 15 out of 20 items. Maybe once the bags are full, you're trapped here forever. No! That seems horrible. Okay, whatever you guys are talking about. Oh my god, it's a roper! Ow! Excuse you? No. Stop it. See if I equip anything. I could probably equip stuff. Um, but he's got leather armor. I can give him the cape. But the base price is two thousand. <sighs> he doesn't need it. Nothing. Nothing. Oh my god. Ow! Stop it. 27 out of 37. Ow! Ow! Hold on. Walnut bread. Base price is a hundred. Okay, you're eating some walnut bread. You piece of shit. You piece of shit! <sighs> I 
Unequip him before the boss. Leave him to die. I don't think I can equip anything else, though. I just tried. Um, yeah, because the cape is the only thing, and it's like, I can't equip it. I like how half the time these shields, these chests are nothing. Nope. You stop it. Ooh, powerful anti-venom. Ooh. Didn't I just find a shield, though? It's just the same shield. See, it's the same. I don't want him to die, because if he dies, we lose everything we've been collecting, except for one thing. So I'm trying not to die. But I want to know how to leave. The game's all like, here, you should go in here. The fairy's all like, it's fine. I'm like, well, how do I leave? And she's like... Pfft. Orange plus four. What's an orange plus four? It's okay, he leveled up again. Probably can't leave until you finish. That's horrible. It's horrible. Okay, let's just let's 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 aim to finish. Just, just gotta go in here. What's over here? No. Ow! Piece of crap! Excuse you. Stop it. Oh no. Don't. You stop it. Really? There we go. You got them all this time. This takes you back. Ow. Um game will make you have fun dungeoneering even if it has to force you. But I just wanted to make sure I left with all my stuff intact. That's all. Stop it. Ow. Everything needs to stop it. He's already level 6 though. Ow! Can't carry anymore. Is what we're gonna use. There we go. What is in here? Nothing. Okay. Let's go. This is the first game you watched in his extreme. Yeah, he's he he, he gifted this to me, and he says he loves it. It's a treasure chest. This is. Did I do it? I did, didn't I? Yeah, does it. I've cleared the hall of trials. A oh, sweet mystery of life. Now you'll give me money. Yeah, Way to go, Louie. Reset it's here. This is all thanks to you guys. Even though he had his own equipment already. This is all well and good, but there is a treasure chest ahead. Behooves us to investigate thoroughly. Tier, you really do like going for the money, don't you? <sighs> Did you just backtalk her? There's no need to treat me like a flying ball of greed. Hey, hey now. I love me some treasure too. Don't worry, Tier. I feel you on this. Really? You two completely misunderstand me. 
So the contents of the chest. <sighs> Give me just a second here. Hey. Wow, cards! So this is an Adventurer's Guild card, is in a chest. Take one, like we promised. Huh? Oh yeah, okay! While you did promise to give us your card eventually, we are not so crass as to demand your very first card. You really should think about who you want to give your first. No, I want this. Rossetti, I beg you, please take my very first card. I'd love to. Thanks, Louis. Oh, it's like he's just popped his virginity. Awesome, I can't wait to adventure with you two some more. Another day, really now, young people. Adventure. Oh, there's the exit to the door. Yeah. Hey, Tyr, what's this thing that just showed up? Ah, uh, yes, that. This is commonly referred to as a go ho. -ho. Mm, what, I'm, what, what am I? A door of return, I mean. His V card. <laughs> If you enter that door, you can return to town in an instant. This one has appeared because we have cleared the dungeon. But they offer encountered, often encountered during normal exploration, too. I believe they usually appear roughly every five levels or so. But wait, if we take this back to town when we're halfway in, don't we have to start all the way at the beginning again? Not at all. You can always head back to the floor that had a door on it. In fact, if you do not use a door, you do have to restart. So if we find a door, we should always use it? Almost always. If we need to rest or unload, then we should use the door. Remember, though, returning home takes time. Furthermore, leaving ends the current contract with your our companion, and we would have to rehire him or choose a new one. If there is something specific in the dungeon that you desire, you can simply ignore the doors and press onward. Alrighty, then. I think we have to go home now, though. Quite so. Oh, just to be sure, in the future, please try to avoid referring to this as going home. Yes? Okay. I don't get it. Just hit it open. <laughs> so what is this? A door? These separate rooms are setting. <laughs> what am I doing in this? Where's all my stuff? No. Powerful anti venom. Oh my god, all the food. We need, we need to put more clothing out. Robes. No. Then we need to. Just some slime fluid plus one plus what? Powerful anti venom. Hold on. What happened to my my wonderful staff? It's just. If you want some egg toast, people. Oh, I want an orange. Can we open the store? Wait, how do I check what those ingredients were? Town Square Pub. It looks like nobody's here. Wow. It looks like nobody's here. Wow. Talk. I don't... About unknown items. Now, if you go dungeon diving, you'll find a lot of stuff which you won't be able to identify at first. In particular, I'll bet my hat. You'll find a lot of what are commonly called mis mystery ingredients by the adventurers. At first, you'll probably be tearing your hair out over all the junk you keep finding on those places. But as your merchant level goes up, you'll be able to sort out the stuff you find and pick the best materials and whatnot from the lot. Oh, if you manage to get out of those death traps safely, you'll have time to identify everything safely. That means you won't know what you're carrying until you leave, though. Okay. You can go away. You did well. You look tired. Get some rest. I didn't have a chance to open the shop. Exceeded expectations! Yes! You doubted me! Can I, can I get Resetir shit-faced? Resetir? May I have a moment, please? Stop talking to me! Sure, what's up? 
Concerning the debt, I have a suggestion concerning its repayment. You do? Repaying it all back at once is wholly beyond your means, so I recommend smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. Oh my, wholly beyond, uh, you know, you never told me how big Papa's debt is exactly. That is because you would faint if you found out. For now, it is a secret. I, I'd faint. As the store begins to build up steam, we will increase payment sizes. The prepayment date nearest to the current date, along with the amount due, will be displayed on the calendar of the main menu. Please be sure to check it regularly. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I'll keep an eye on it. It's a lot of money. Let's open this door. Welcome. Mommy told me to buy this. It's because you're an ugly little bitch. You need some new clothes. Capitalism ho! Let's go here. It's a little too much. Well, maybe if you did... This. This is getting dumb. Then get out of my shop! Stupid bitch! You're not allowed in here! Well, if you need anything, just ask. I've been looking for one of these. Oh, well. I can sell it for just a little less. Okay, fine. We'll drop it down to 900. That's crazy, no matter how you slice it. Wonder, do I really have no talent? Welcome! Right then, get this sorted, please. Just freaking. Just. Just. Can you give me just a wee bit less for it? Um, excuse you? Who do you think I am? Right then, I'd call that a fair deal. See, you bliss out, old man! Yeah, yeah I sold iron armband. I did buy that armband from him and I sold it back to him. Let's see. Just come in for a beautiful summer sandals. Just come in for some beautiful summer sandals. Just, can we get shit faced yet? What's at the chapel? Say, Terry, you come from a uh, finance company, right? What on earth? Uh, yes, that's right. I work for Termay Finance. So you're employed by them, right? What's it like? Mm, no, that's not quite accurate. I was contracted to Termay through another organization. Thus, I am not really an employee, per se. Oh my god, you're just contracted? I'm surprised. You seem so... It's not that surprising. Almost all fairies in human society belong to a very specific contract agency. There are, of course, a few free agent fairies out there as well, and... So that's how it works. Er, uh, yes. To tell the truth, it can be difficult for fairies to find employment in human society. So the agencies were founded an age ago in order to help facilitate fairy livelihoods. That's amazing. Quite. That's that's what the chapel was. For us to talk about stupid shit. Let's go to the town square. I love being able to relax in the plaza like this. You never seem to have trouble relaxing even when we are not in the plaza. <laughs> it's healthy, right? Seriously. <sighs> Obviously. What? Speaking of time, I plan on doing some mild schedule management for you from now on to ensure you're working in an effective manner to pay back the debt. Schedule management? Quite. First, I've broken up the day into four time periods. Now it's already been that way. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. What you can do and how you, much you can do depends on the time of day. Uh, yeah, the clock's been broken up to four areas. Think of each part as a slice of time. A slice mm, like a pie. <sighs> Stupid fucking bitch. Uh, I figured you'd make it similar to some sort of sweet food. So there's the morning slice, the afternoon. I'm getting hungry. Anyways. Mom keeps telling me to get a real job. I do have one. I have to sell fictional shit to fictional people to get fictional money. But to fictional recipe that makes sense. Now to explain in detail. Generally, you can only act between morning and night. When night ends, you need to go to bed. Trying to run a shop while sleep deprived is unpleasant. So I'll say I'll close up when it gets late. I want to be like 7-Eleven though. 
So you essentially have two options for each slice. You can open the store for a time or go about town on business. You cannot do both at once, so decide in advance what you need to do. To be clear, opening the shop will consume a slice, and returning to the store after going out, regardless of what you actually do, will also consume a slice. I didn't know that! Look, all the customers are still walking outside. It's like the same models over and over, just walk in place. But what if I go to, like, the plaza and then the chapel? <coughs> you can get around town easily enough to avoid consuming a slice with each move. Only when you return to the store will the clock advance. So in that case, I should do a lot when I leave the shop. Yes, that is a good attitude to take. Now. There's another vital element, leaving town altogether. Visiting a dungeon will consume two slices no matter what. It will? It takes that long? <coughs> so if I go in the morning, I'll get back in the evening. That is precisely how it works. Thus, you can only leave for a dungeon at an early point in the day. <coughs> Excuse me. If it is night, you have done something else that evening, you cannot go. Because if I did go, I'd get back real late, right? Exactly. Not only would you annoy your adventurer companions with staying out so late, you'd also be dead on your feet the next day after returning. Yep, exactly. You will get used to it, I'm sure. Before you know it, you will be thinking about it naturally. You think so? Well, it helps that you will always be able to see how much time a particular action will consume. Simply pay attention to the clock. Okay. That is everything. If you ever want to go over this again, simply ask me where in the shop. I'll be glad to go over it as often as you need. Pie K! Let's get rid of this. How do I... Wait. Oh, it's so cute! The camera changed! So cute! Oh, so good! Oh, so good! Okay. That's there. Candy. Um. Open the star. Just have everything. Hi there, little bitch that didn't want to buy something earlier. Mr. Asetti, please sell things at me. <laughs> <laughs> Please sell things at me. Remember earlier when you asked for this? <coughs> it's that much? It's getting dumb. You bitch! Hey, it's Louie! Welcome, looking for something special? This is for sale, right? Oh, yes. Slightly better deal. Yes! Yay, I sold us focus staff for 400 picks. Dick picks! Hello, welcome to Rest here, old man. I've been looking for one of these. Oh, yes, you have. Oh, yeah. Let's drop him down here. Can't go down just a hair more? Um, that's a fine price. Yes! Yeah, I sold a cloth cape for 2650 It cost me nothing. Hello, welcome to Rest here, old man! Aren't you broke yet? How much for this? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you so fucking weird? Here. It's really that expensive? It just... MADNESS! I made them mad, didn't I? He just bought $2,000 worth of stuff! What is his problem? <sighs> like, seriously. Let's see, sign flow in. Just... What? Store atmosphere, according to tier, it's plain. How do I change it? Um... What? Want a raincoat? Can I open this up again? Oh, 
Okay, let's stick in the 30%. Hey, could I purchase this? Yes. Let's see if I can get him to go like this. Come on, you can charge me a little less than that. Here. Seems fair enough. <clears throat> I'm assuming that once you end up selling enough, you could start haggling for higher than that. Oh, hi, welcome, plain and humble old woman who could barely bake anything but, like, wallet bread. I'd like this, please! You don't wear sandals while you're in the kitchen, silly. But whatever makes you comfortable. Here. You could charge less than that. Oh my god! I sold summer sandals! Welcome! This is for sale, right? Ah. Give me. Oh my god. Give me that. Yes! I think 31% works. Hello, welcome to Rest of Tier, Louis! Ring this up, please. It's worse than what I'm wearing, but okay. <sighs> he, he argued over a single penny. Gee, I sold clothes for 130. Good night. Good night. Day three. Did I exceed expectations? Yes. I exceeded expectations. The store is not complete. Hold on. I have a chestnut. I have a wooden shield. <clears throat> Things aren't like worth as much right now. I'm running out of stuff that's worthwhile. Oh, let's get this orange. Here, put some clothes there. I need an orange here. Someone buy this orange. Fucking buy the orange. Wait, what do you think of the atmosphere? Slightly less plain. Is that because of what's in the window? <laughs> Hi there, Louie. Again. This item's for sale, right? Right? Yeah, sure. You totally want to buy a shield like the one you were carrying around? Why not? Just slightly dumb. Oh my god, why is he such a stickler? Oh! Oh! Bitch! Get out of my store! Look, if you need anything, just ask. Ah, oh, there's your Joe. Do you want to take what he wouldn't? Because he wouldn't take this. Can't buy it at that price. <coughs> Madness! Oh my god. Yes, you definitely want that orange, sir. It's amazing. It's delicious. Oh my god. <coughs> Seriously? Yeah, I sold an orange for f way too much money. Hi there, little bratty child who still doesn't want to buy anything. <laughs> you have it! Yay! Oh. The normal clothes weren't good enough for you. Are you serious? I'll drop. You! Get out of my store! Get out of here, you dumb bitch! I am so tired of people trying to take advantage of me. No. Here. Egg toast. Just. Just. Egg toast. People need egg toast in their lives. Hi there, old man who doesn't want to buy things half the time. Would you sell this to me, my girl? Oh, you want to try this again? 
All right, let's try this again. You wanna? Can't you shell it for just a little less? Here, we'll go down to 125%. Is that make you feel better, you fucking cheating bastard? You're robbing this child! Good deal, little lady. <laughs> Fuck you, sir! Gee, I sold a wooden shield for 440. What? No, I don't want a dungeon. Hi there, I'll do dungeon after I sell. How much would this be? Well. Just need that. <sighs> he he's poor. Okay, we'll give him a discount. Here, you can have it for this. You're welcome. Just because I need the money. I sold egg toast. We found it in the slime and he just bought it off of me. Can I help you with anything? Oh, little lady, how much for this? Oh, you want the one piece of candy? It's 400. Too expensive, girl! Make it cheaper! Oh, he's so mean. Here. Good deal. There, I gotta build up a reputation with some of these assholes. Welcome, can I help you with anything? Uh, have you, you have one of these? It's a lucky day for both of us then. Oh yeah, this egg toast has been sitting in that sh was sitting in a dungeon for several months and then on my shelf for a few days without refrigeration. Would you like it for 660? You can't bring it down. Here, we'll go down to this. Okay, that seems fair. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I sold egg toast. Okay. Do I have enough time to go dungeon? I don't think so. Well then, you seem to have developed basic understanding of how to sell things to people and not drive them. To burn the shop in anger. Yep, Aroni, easy as pie. Being a truly great store owner involves more than selling things, however. There are times when people want to sell items to you as well. Really? I suspect we'll begin to get such offers soon. But I already buy stuff from the guild on the market, so why would I b worry about buying stuff from other customers? There is one major difference between a guild or market purchase and a purchase from an individual. Individuals do not have set prices. In other words, you can haggle as you do when selling. Haggle down, that is! Ooh, so I can really get stuff really cheap? But it seems like it'd be pretty hard. Fundamentally, buying and selling are not that different. The customer shows you an item they wish to sell, and then you set a price and perhaps negotiate. Obviously, you wish to pay less than the base price of the item. Okay, so buy low, sell dear. Sell something? Just so. That is very core of a successful business. Now then, shall we practice? Fundamental procedure is the same as... <sighs> Kaya! Welcome to Resetir. Would you buy this from me? Oh. Ooh. Um, okay, need to name a price lower than the base. So, I uh, think press down. Come on. Come on, me. You can do this. So what should I set it to? Lower the price to 70%. Oh my god, are you serious? Concept is essentially the same as selling something. Now that you have offered a price you believe to be fair, adjust your offer. So basically, 30% in either direction. I should have played this on Black Friday. Why? Oh, because it's selling? No. Let us begin then. Could you offer me a little more? I think it is worth a lot. Okay, so I need to set a higher offering price. Uh. You seem to have a decent enough grass. Uh, what would you be willing to pay for this? Or just, just not much. Uh, let us do that once more. No. She'd be willing to pay for this. That's the right, Grumpy. Those are definitely butt wings. She does have butt wings. <sighs> Tayaki? Obviously, I would pay. 
If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask. All right. Dilly does pawn shops. What? Um. I'm. I am running out of stuff to put in the windows. Just plain old clothes. <clears throat> we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna try and sell. Buy stuff, bitches! Could I purchase this? Yes. For this much. Thank you so much. Sell me, buy stuff! <clears throat> Welcome, if you need anything, just ask. Uh, he needs to buy it off me for this much. Now he will feel as if I gave him a deal. I sold a chestnut for way more money than it's worth. Oh, hi, welcome. You want to buy more shit for me? Of course. Here. It's not that much. God damn it, people. It broke asses everywhere. Is anyone at the pub? What is it? Say, Tier, is alcohol yummy? I've only tried it once before myself. Really? Wow, you're so grown up, Tier. I hate it. It stink of barrels. Barrels? Typically, most alcoholic beverages are left to age in barrels, so the drink had a strong wooden smell, and it was not dissimilar to attempting to drink a tree. That's a lie! It doesn't sound yummy at all. Oh, to be honest, the pop- Oh. King Battlefield 19, thank you for the host. Uh, I, I, why am I not seeing my host properly? Uh, Isaac fucked with it, that's why. I'm not seeing anything other than subs right now because he fucked with it. <sighs> Anyways, I have, I have a ticker here that tells me when people, like, sub or watch or follow or whatever, and he filtered it. To be honest, the popularity of the substance baffles me. It always sells well, so stocking it is always a good way to make some money, but... But barrels... Barrels. I really want to be the little girl that sells alcohol. Damn it. <clears throat> okay. He'll just buy shit? No, I'm not selling shit to you. Give me this one long sword. Give me this one crafter's knife. Give me this one magician's staff. A windbreaker. Oh my god, a wooden chess piece. Okay, we're done. We don't need any more, we have enough. Donate to the Help Chrism Get Over It Fund. Look at my profits, it was shit! Uh oh, okay. Just keep talking to me. Wait, here we go. She's just so cute when she goes. Is it? We're gonna do one day of it. We're gonna do one thing and then we're gonna go into a dungeon. Open the store. Buy the shit. Hello, welcome to Reset here. Oh, I've been wanting this. I know. Oh my god. You should totally buy it. It's beautiful. It'd be beautiful on you. Here you go. 
That's just a little much. He's, he's got some issues with money. Here, we'll give him a nice discount down to... He helped us. No! Oh, hi, welcome. There she'll do. You're, you're a magic person? I don't think you are. Here, we'll drop you down to 129%. Good dear little lady. There you go. I sold a magician's staff. Uh, my playing ability hurts. I'm sorry. Right then, get the sword, please. Um, you want this? Or... He's here. <laughs> Fucking hell, bitch. You better take it. Yeah, I sold a raincoat. No one likes me. No one wants to buy my shit. Tree seed necklace. Cloth cape. No. No. Unthankful statue. Why the hell would I get that? What is this? While people agree that this book is a masterwork, the huge character list is hard to keep track of. What? What are these books for? Leave. This is what we're doing. We're taking Louie. Pick the items you want to bring with you. When finished, select a part. Uh, nothing. Jadeway. Jadeway. Don't know anything about this. He's an old man that automatically makes him a wizard. Yes, yeah, equip the items in the bag. Wait, what? D d why, why would we equip items in the bag? There's nothing in the bag for him to equip. He, you know, he'd be better equipped if he had bothered actually buying shit from me instead of whining about prices. I don't want more slime fluid. I don't want to go further down. It's just, this is a dungeon. Yes. Get out of here. Oh, oh is there a bitty? Wrong game, but it was close. Ooh. So, oh. Slogged him in the jaw. I should. Just, just gonna, just gonna beat the crap out of them. Hi. Something up here, right? Oh my god! It was just that was a trap. Just random fish everywhere. What the hell? What kind of trap was that? Ow! I can't I can't hit him? Oh, he's on the ground. Oh, I got a water shroom. No. No. Bad rabbit. Bad rabbity. I could always start a pyramid scheme to make money. This would be a beautiful idea, and it's something that I think Rossetti would be really good at. But probably not. She has to talk to people, and right now she's secretly cussing all of them when I'm controlling her. News. Adventure attack power doubled. Oh, okay. Well, I'm fine with adventure attack power doubling. Stupid bees! No. No. Everything's just... Why? No, no. Can I stop sliding anytime soon? Please? Oh. It's a thankful statue! That's much better than a thankless statue. 
stupid rabbits. I got candy plus one. Stay away from the shrooms. You don't need to be high. Look, if we're dumping them down the fairy's mouth, I think we're fine. She's magically immune. Ow. Stop that. I've already been here. But apparently I haven't been up. Jeez, these little rabbit things. They're such a pain. We need to get them in the corners. No, you stupid dog thing. Yes, I should go to the next floor. I'm not getting a whole lot in the dungeon right now, though. Mm. Ow! Stupid God! Alzia! What? Did I miss an object? Oops. Sorry. I'll try not to. Ingredient that I don't know about. Ooh, ooh, souvenir charm. Didn't I see the charm? It's worth a lot of money. Stupid. Ow! It's okay, he's closer to leveling up. Ow. I knew that B was gonna be a problem at some point. What? Freaking magical teleport? Did you drop anything? No. <laughs> you pause. <laughs> no. Stop it. No, no. Stop. What did I need? Oh, I did search all of this. News. Experience gain is double. Ooh! Let's go! I don't deal with you idiots. Level up. As we should. Get in the middle. Get in the middle. There you go. Perfect. This one's a good one. Remember the other game I was playing? What other game? You, you mean the the fateful, the fearful symmetry? Is that what you're talking about, Brad? No, 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 no. Or are you talking about Yamawari? Because I do need to finish Yamawari, and I'm gonna be finishing that on stream. The Yamawari, when I play it, I'm gonna be focusing on Yamawari, and then I'll play something else after if I beat it. Because I don't know how much longer I have in Yamawari, and today I was focusing on fearful symmetry. Oh, fearful symmetry was poo. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's just it's it's not a game that you want to sit down and just play nonstop like by itself. Um, Isaac signed us up for like a site that basically gives us software game keys. So basically, you get a free copy of the game, but then we're supposed to showcase the game, um, and then we have to announce that we're showcasing the game, and that's where. Um, well, Balance City yesterday came from, and Balance City's not horrible. It feels like a mobile game, and it was a lot of it was it was cute, and I enjoyed playing it, and I had fun with it. Um, the one today was very similar in that respect, but it'd be like I'd pick it up once every now and then in a blue moon, and I wouldn't play multiples at once, and I would keep the music muted. There's, there's better games out there. Ooh, walnut bread. JRPGs taught you that murder makes you rich. <laughs> but that's why I was playing uh, Fearful Symmetry. So, there's another game. There's two more games on that site that I had requested. That I wanted to, uh, to showcase for us. Um, one of them I actually was interested in before I saw it on the site. So, um, we'll see about that. And it's a multiplayer, so a bunch of us will probably play it. Oh, why? Why? 
I have a feeling he just has to get smaller and smaller and smaller by hitting him. Yeah. He's Ow! He's getting more mobile, though. Get over here. Ow. Really? Got him. Uh, how are we doing as far as items? 14 out of 20. The sad thing is that I don't know if I should go lower because the bosses. So I'm gonna just leave for now. I'm not gonna risk it. Rearrange. Insect trap. Ooh. It's cute. Yeah, I know I was almost dead, that's why. Daily profits. Day six. Uh, the, it depends on which JRPG Brad. It's um, certain ones I enjoy a lot more than other ones, obviously. Um, this is not as good. Oh! This was worth a lot. No, it's in an hour, honey. Just, just wait. Okay, put this here. I don't need this. Take this out. Put this here. Just... Oh. You didn't tell me you were playing this game. You didn't hear me? No. I need to make about 2,000 more for the death. Shut up, Axel! I do what I want! I'm a beautiful little girl! Capitalism. Open the star. Capitalism, ho! That's him again. Welcome. Looking for something special? Oh, little lady, how much for this? More than your wallet can handle. It's just... Hair. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give it to him like... You can't go down just to hair more? Madness! I made the mad, didn't I? I? I keep making him mad. Hi there, he's back. My daughter-in-law asked me to pick this up. Your daughter-in-law wants a sword. I really need to like cut these people as deals or something here. He's a Tony. Uh, it's okay. What? It's. I'm enjoying it. Thanks. Please come again. Yeah, I sold a longsword for 1,520 picks. Look, Axel, I'm almost done. Capitalism ho, that's exactly what it is. Welcome, can I help you with anything, little child girl that doesn't want to buy anything in my store, you fucking little retard bitch? She can't. Can I want this today, please? She's a little girl. She wants a $500 jacket. She can spend plenty. 510. No. You'll get the, no, she won't pay that much. You won't get her over for 170 percent why? Because she's a little fucking girl. How much money do you think is in her wallet? You have to build their wallets. Oh my god. I'm not building her wallet. I'm trying to take her wallet. After they get comfortable with your prices, that's when you- I'M GOING HOME! <laughs> After they get comfortable with their prices, their wallets get bigger and then they can pay for more. <laughs> that's what capitalism is. You can't just charge a shit ton of money and then be like, Oh yeah, it'll be fine! Oh, Grubs. Oh, I just realized Grubsy's an EB. Uh, an EB. I, yes. I hope that if I get married, my father in law will get me a fucking sword. Welcome, you need to. Hi, Louie! You already said it. Ring this up, please. Do you have any imagination, Louie? He's a fucking. He's pretty broke still. Yeah, you need to stop charging 160% of the base price. It's fine. No, it's not. You're gonna end up in a cardboard fucking box. He gets it for 125 percent. Why are you so broke? I took you into a dungeon to sell. It's Louis. <laughs> 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 
There, I gave them for when like that nothing. That little bonus pops up. That means you're almost at the exact price that they're gonna they want to pay. And if you combo that, you get extra money. Isaac's being mean. That's what's important here. <laughs> money isn't the important thing. Money becomes the important thing after you already sell them out or get their trust. No. They need to understand what kind of store they're walking into. If they can't have to ask how much it costs, then they can't afford it. This is what they're bad. How it works in my world. Here's a mushroom. Let's see, when do I have to have this buy? Oh. Open the store. Let's go, guys. Oh, welcome to Rested Here. You're back and you want this again. Louie. Louie, sweetie. I had to buy this. I'm making a profit one way or another. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I sold a windbreaker for 50 profit. Yeah. Well, if you need anything, just ask. Right then, get this sorted, please. You want a rusty dagger? Sure. You should pay me... About this much. Right then, I'd call that a fair deal. Thank you so much! Buy it. Never own my own business. How dare you! Welcome! Look for something special. Would you sell this to me, my girl? What is with this guy's obsession with sharp objects? <sighs> He's always angry and says madness. Well, that's because you're overcharging him! Let's give him to up for 120%. No! He's an old man. No! He's not an idiot! Well, that'll do, I suppose! There! That's not the right price, then! Gee, Glee! I sold Crafter's Knife! Well, you know what? He's gonna have to learn that if he walks into Reseteer, it's gonna cost him a little bit of money! Well, you seem more or less used to the basics of running an item shop. Tier thinks I'm doing a good job! Someone does! Hey, you think so? There's one other matter, however. You cannot always be certain that a customer will know what they want when they come in. What do you mean? They may come in thinking, what should I make for dinner? What should be a good weapon? And so forth. They will not be quite sure what exactly they wish to purchase when they come through our door. In such a case, we must provide them with advice to help them decide. But wait, how can I do? Many customers will simply give up if they do not find something suitable for their needs on our counters. Others, however, will realize that we may have reserved stock and will inquire as to whether or not we have something they seek. That is when you may suggest an item you think they would like. In a sense, it is the ultimate chance to show your skill as an item shopkeeper. If you know what someone desires, you will very likely impress them and cause them to return. Yeek! No pressure than none at all. Well, let us give it a little practice, shall we? It is no different than a normal sale, really, beyond the fact that you must choose the item to sell yourself. Let us begin. KK! Welcome. <laughs> I would like a sword, please. So, anything's okay as long as it's a sword? Ultimately, you must pick something the person would like. By the way, if I may give you a little advice, if you sell weapons and armor to your adventurer friends, they will equip the items you sell them. Meaning, of course, that if you sell items to them, then we do not need to lend them any items at the start of a dungeon excursion, and we'll be able to bring back more items for our own use. Even if an adventurer must retreat while in a dungeon, the equipment is not lost since it is in their possession, so selling better equipment to our adventuring friends is a good idea, even if you must undersell to them a little. Accessories work the same way, so think carefully about who you sell what to and what effect it may have on their performance. Uh, did I get your question? What's your question? No. Are we part of the LGBT community? We are of the G. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I hope I can keep track of all this. If you look at the details of an item when selling to one of our... I mean, I'm straight. I'm totally straight. Can you tell? Adventure so films. Straight. You can also check what so that straight, person buddy. currently has. Now then, we should continue. Affirmative affirmativeication. Kaneko's surprised. They said, "Wait, are you gay, Isaac?" I would like a sword, please. Should take this one. Yes, excellent. The rest is like a normal sell. Once again, let us put the whole thing into practice. I will ask for an item. Sell me what I ask for, and you will pass. Let us begin. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to Rissa here. I would like a weapon, however. Uh, 
How about something like this? Oh, this is lovely. How much is it? A lot. Could you go a little lower, perhaps? Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yeah, I sold a steel sword. Precisely done. Once more, then. No, I'm done. Done with your tomfoolery. I would like a weapon, however. Here, I have a long sword. How much is it? Thanks so much. Yeah, I sold a long sword. Fantastic, you are ready. If you ever wish to practice this again, so I don't need to practice this. Uh, uh, just, I need to, I need to refill. Here, have another mushroom. Uh, insect trap. It's beautiful. It's a water shroom. Hey, what's the store atmosphere like? It's going a little towards the dark side. It's, it's plain and a little dark. <clears throat> oh my. Hi there, what can I get you? Can I get this, please? What do we know about this guy? Um, we don't know anything. What's the most I've sold this? Lowest, highest sale price, 130. Okay. We're gonna sell it to you for 120. It's a pretty good deal, to be honest. Ooh, thank you so much. Glee, I sold clothes. Uh, welcome, looking for something special? I'd like a treasure. A treasure? Here. Oh, I know, how's this? Aye, right, that'll do. You're gonna buy this for... I need to sell this to this old man for a decent price. Here, 120%. I don't have that kind of money. Then why do you want a treasure? Here. It's crazy no matter how you slice it. I made them mad, didn't I? Oh, hi, welcome. There's two old men in my shop. Oh, little lady, how much for this? Good deal, little lady. Thanks, please come again. I found that on the side of slime. <laughs> Welcome, looking for something special? Ah, oh, little lady, how much for this? Can you buy something better? Here, sell it for that. Good deal. <clears throat> Thanks, please come again. Yay, I sold an insect trap. No, buy the statue. I need to sell that! Come back! Okay. Now what do you think of this? Store atmosphere is beautiful. How do I change the atmosphere? Is it by the stuff I have out? I was looking for this. Oh, you're looking for clothing. Your haggling skills win this. I'll take it. Yeah, I sold clothes. You all broke. Hi there, what can I get you? Right. Then, get this sorted, please. I just, I really just... Here. Right, then I'd call that a fair deal. There, have that. Yay, I sold slime fluid. Someone buy the statue. Welcome, looking for something special, you homely little bitch. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's the only sugar and enjoyment you get in your life, right? Right? No, I can't back uh, down. Less, please. Here. That'll be fine. Thank you so much. Yay, I sold candy plus one. That's, that's it. Welcome! I'd like some food. I don't have food. Just, you, want, you want a shroom? I think this is what you're looking for. I don't think you understood what I wanted. I made them mad, didn't I? I don't have food! <laughs> Look at my profits. Yes. I exceeded expectations. Yes. Yes. I'm good. Good. But we should go to a dungeon. But before 
I can do that. I should save because I think I should actually end. Thank you guys for uh, coming with me on the little journey of being a little girl who's trying to steal everyone's money by ripping their wallets out of their hands. <laughs> <laughs>